Hershey Springs Resort Casino here in Indio, California. It's time for your main event of the evening. Brought to you by Golden Boy Promotions in association with Goose and Tudor Promotions, Thompson Boxing Promotions, and Star Boxing. Sponsored by Corona Extra, La Cerveza Masvina, and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Sanctioned and under the supervision of the California State Athletic Commission, Executive Director Andy Foster, Chair John Frierson. Your three judges scoring this main event on a 10-point must is tomorrow. Max DeLuca, Thomas Taylor, and Fritz Werner. And the referee in charge, when the bell sounds, is Raul Caiz Jr. Introducing first fighting to my left out of the red corner. He comes in wearing white trunks. His official weight, 146 pounds. His record stands at 24 wins, opposite nine defeats. One bout even with 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Queens, New York. He is the former USBA and NABO light welterweight champion, Buddy Mike Arnutis. And his adversary fighting to my right out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing silver and blue. His official weight, 146 pounds. This 36 fight veteran enters the ring with a record of 30 wins against six defeats with 18 big wins coming by way of knockout from Riverside, California. Arnautzis doesn't have a, what I would consider a 
devastating punch, but he, I mean, he's a busy fighter, and he wins a lot of fights by being that. And uh, wins fights by, by being a lefty, so uh, Mosesito said that he prepared well against uh, a lot of the southpaw sparring partners. I mentioned that Arnaldis has fought those the title fights with Urango and Ricardo Torres, but he's been in with a myriad of other very good fighters, Victor Ortiz and Delvin Rodriguez and Danny Garcia. So he's faced, I mean, really top notch competition, but then again, so has Tosacito. Broadcast of Golden Boy on Fox is brought to you by Corona Extra, La Cervisa Mas Vida, and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Hey, don't try to pivot. That's Henry Ramirez right in front of uh, Jose Cinto Lopez. Henry is also the longtime trainer of uh, Chris Areola, the heavyweight of great prominence. Ten 
So far, uh, Mighty Mike has, has been able to deliver his own punches. And the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, Golden Boy Boxing returns right here at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino. Friday, January 24th with the main event featuring Antonio Orozco and Javier Castro. Buy your tickets right now at the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino Lodge Office. And they were great holiday stockings. Numbers. That is Friday, right? January 24th.
How often do you see a jab square a night off? But that is it. That glove touched the ground. That's all it took. And that being the case, I mean, it was a clean punch. They may go ahead and score a 10-8. He just they wasn't may do expecting it. that punch. He just didn't see it coming. It was just quick boom. He didn't look to be off balance, but then the way that he so jumped back, he may have been. I'll fix you again. So right? are we changing our mind here? 10-8 round, perhaps, right? Perhaps, yeah. And if that's the case, that certainly makes the scorecards a little more interesting. A rare knockdown with a jab. That would mean that uh, we have a, 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 an even fight so far. Two rounds to one, but that is a 10-8. That's a draw. Now, Jose Zito may go around. That's enough of that. Yeah, get some maybe that's, that's the... Uh, the, the motivation that, that he was looking for. Sometimes it requires that to get a, a fighter revved up, fired up, mad. Frankly, Jose Cito's work output through the first three rounds has not been what it normally is. Mike says, 
I can, I can match you. Punch for punch. The next 20 seconds, that was more than what we expected in this fight. I would figure if Lopez is 100% here, that if, if he fights at that pace, that Arnautis would be the guy that would wear it down. here in close by Josecito and he came on late in the round again a tough round to uh, score there judges uh, may have their work cut out for them in this one Josecito using uh, every second possible to rest I'm wondering if uh, there's a certain sense of uh, lethargy there tonight just just not one of those uh, good nights, as they call it. Well, you know, I don't know if it's lethargy so much. I think you had it right earlier. Or you just not really sharp. You can, sometimes you can fight off that rust. You can, the rust will wear off during the course of a during the course of a fight. And we'll have to see if that, in fact, happens. He's trying to pick it up. You can see in the last round, he was trying to really pick up the pace, trying to pick up his work rate. He needs to do that. Yeah, he's been uh, inactive since uh, June the 8th, so it's been over uh, over six months since his last fight. Again, not a lot of punches landed by either man, but they were better, they were cleaner punches in that last round. And our uh, trying to use uh, the length of the, of the ring, moving laterally. Uh, Josecito 
has been trying to cut off the ring, but Arnautis has been very effective, moving well. And waiting for those openings. Well, this is the time Arnautis said was a sleep time for him. He certainly does not appear sleepy in that ring. Well, we can tell him once... Uh, <laughs> Once you hear the first bell, that adrenaline kicks yeah. in. You won't be tired. He has the look of a confident fighter in there. Look at him. He's picking it up, man. He's throwing that jab. He's starting to jab with Josecito. If he can out-jab Josecito, that's going to spell trouble for Lopez. Yeah, there is no sense of intimidation or anything like that yeah. for, for Mighty Mike. Yeah, and that's not surprising considering that opposition line that we talked about that he's fought. He's beginning to mark up a little bit into that left eye. If you were to compare the, the so-called eye of the tiger, I just don't see that in Jose Cito tonight. It seems, I don't know, like he's staring and Sometimes you, you realize things aren't going your way, and you will try to suck it up and, and make things happen. And he, I think that's what's happening, and it's not always working out successfully. Ten seconds. Stop at the bell, gentlemen. Ten seconds. We talked about, uh, during the course of the fight, we, we, we talked about the uh, Arturo Gatti factor, where fight, great fights that Ar Arturo Gatti had against Mickey Ward and such, uh, or the like that. They were so spectacular, it didn't really matter if you lost. If Jose Cito were to lose tonight in this kind of lack, uh, lackluster uh, uh, fashion, how would that affect his, his uh, standing when his stock drops? I think it would be uh, pretty devastating. Yes, absolutely. And I think it would be devastating to him. I don't think in this case of the fight, they really have high expectations of him having a lot of trouble. And, and some of the best moments coming up confirm that Arnautis appears to be handling these rounds now. Oh, well, I thought that this last round was a nice one for Arnautis. He fought very well. He was punching in combinations. And, you know, I could just uh, it just looked to me like you could see Mike's confidence growing in this round. He was getting very encouraged by the way things were going. As these rounds continue, he keeps growing in terms of confidence. His body language says a lot. Well conditioned. His arms, hands are still up. Good defense. I think, uh, still, I still think uh, Hotosito uh, can win the fight. And I think he needs a lot of aggression. And I still think he needs to wear down through his uh, own aggression. Mighty Mike, because Mike Arnautis is 34 years old, and he's been in a lot of wars with a lot of really top-notch competition, and I would not suspect that down the stretch he would be the stronger of the two. Well, this is a uh, seventh round out, four more to go, and, and definitely there is still time, but I think it's, uh, it is time now for Jose Cito Lopez to start pushing forward. He, he, Need a little bit more activity from him. Higher uh, punching output. It just seems to be going through the motions at this point. Well, right, right now he's not cutting off the ring bell on Arnautis. He's just made a complete 360 of the ring going one way and it's just starting back going the other. And this has been going on for a while. Arnautis is moving well. And Jose Sifu just can't, can't control him. Well, there he goes, slipping away again. Now Lopez is beginning to is beginning to catch up to him here. There he is. Yeah, and this could be the, this could be the start of something for Jose Cito. He's got him on the ropes. He needs to pursue that advantage. Lopez has had a much better round in this round from the last, which is controlled by Arnautis. Now, uh, Mike moving a little bit uh, from 
Ray Tabutu is right to try to escape that power punch from uh, Josecito. He was moving in the other opposite direction. That's when he got clobbered a couple times. Now he's got him against the ropes, trying to trap him against the corner, but Mike pulls out of there well. Yeah, but he did it's land counter punching. Yes, yes, he did. He did, and he's, he's punishing our analysis in this round. I think he's doing some damage in this round. Yeah, it, it looks like even slightly regaining control. And a slight advantage in, in, in this round for Jose Cito. Yet there will be a special Super Bowl edition of Boxing on Fox. Victor Ortiz against Luis Colasso and Eddie Gomez against Juan Arnett. That's January the 30th from uh, the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Super Bowl week with Super Boxing too. Boy, you think, uh, you think the Big Apple in New Jersey is going to be teeming with activity that week? That's going to be rocking. Jessica has a uh, special report now from the corner. Much more positive round for Josecito Lopez, and his corner was very vocal about it. They told him to stay busy, don't let Arnautas go, and to take more than one shot. Again, they said to stay busy, and of course, no lazy shots. Mario? Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, indeed. Josecito picking up the pace in round seven. As Rich indicated, th th there is time and, and perhaps a uh, turning point in the fight. In that, that seventh chapter. Well, he's just got to keep his foot on the pedal. Just keep moving forward. His punches are starting to land a little more clean. And we can feel, we can sense that turning of the tide. And he's getting a little sharper as the fight wears on. But now it's, this is more Pulsacita right here. And the, of course, the crowd gets into it. That that helps in terms of uh, motivation and stamina. There he is. Nice left. Yeah, depending on how the judges saw it as, as this thing progressed. We, we are now in the eighth round. Well, I'll tell you, of course, in the knockdown round, that was a nice little bit of work by Arnautz. Very nice. This one we uh, have seen pretty clear. Oh, now Arnautz is just broken open. Oh, there is called it. That is an accidental headbutt. Oh, that is bad. And Josecito is beginning to really unload. Stop the fight. Accidental headbutt. We would go to the Clarks. That would not necessarily help Josecito. Well, especially when you consider the knockdown round, which we were just referring to. Absolutely. That, because if they would have scored that 10 8 for Arnautis and Lopez was in fact winning that round, say 10 9, that's a three point swing in that one round in that final second. And Arnautis may be uh, inspired by, by that heavy flow of blood. He may, he may sense the end of this and may think that the, 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 the referee is going to stop it. And if he could just sneak in another round, that's pretty much all he would need. There is uh, blood flying everywhere. This is not the time you want to be ringside. And look at Mighty Mike. Come on, let's fight, he says. His face is just a crimson mask of blood. Getting a very close look from the referee. Yeah, they're going to have to take a look at this. Ooh, nice. 
nice right there. Right on the cut. To the cut, yeah. Another good round for Lopez. came up, the headbutt started, the blood started, and assuming that that was ruled a headbutt by it, the it referee, was absolutely Raul right Reigns, away, he yeah. covered it right away, yeah. now here's, here, here's my question Rich, uh, it seems like the, the, the referee was influenced by what Arnautis had to say, he said uh, I can't see, uh, should a fighter have an input in terms of whether it should continue or not? Well, uh, yeah, no, it, it might be that he was, that he's thinking I'll have a better chance of, of winning a decision if it goes to the decision right now. But sh 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 shouldn't that be entirely up to the referee well, he was to telling decide whether or not to continue? He's telling the ref I can't, I can't see out my left eye. And I think that's why, I think that's why the fight was stopped. But I think with the cut, it, I think with the cut, they still would have allowed the fight to go, to go on. Here are the uh, final punch stats, brought to you by ThrowdownFantasy.com. And uh, Jos Jososito had uh, well, a slight edge in uh, punches that were landed. He threw a lot more than did Mark Mike Arnautis. Landed a lower percentage. Yeah, very rate. ineffective. But, uh, you know, this was not Lopez's best fight. It was not Lopez's sharpest fight. But it still may be a winning fight for him. All right, so now it'll be it'll be up to the, the judges' criteria to determine who has won the majority of these rounds. We're going to take a break and come back with the dramatic decision. All right, we are back as a result of an accidental headbutt. This fight has been stopped. We are waiting for the final decision to see how the judges had scored this fight through its uh, duration. Now, let's uh, go back into the ring to see who has won this battle. Ladies and gentlemen, an accidental headbutt in the eighth round has forced us to go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Judges Fritz Werner and Max DeLuca score the contest 77 to 74, and Judge Thomas Taylor sees the bout 76 75 for your winner by unanimous decision. The Riverside Rocky, Josecito. Well 
some would say that is a surprising outcome based on how slow Mosesino started this fight. It took him a while to start picking up his pace and finding a way out of it. Rich is uh, stepping into the ring to interview the winner and perhaps Mighty Mike as well. All right, let's go into the ring with uh, Rich Morata. Rich, take it away. Josecito, for your return to the ring, that was not easy tonight. Uh, yeah, it was a little, a little tough. I, I felt a little off. I wasn't, I wasn't okay, but uh, I worked through it. I thought you were not as sharp as, as normal, and it seemed as though you had trouble getting your foot on the gas pedal tonight. What was the problem? Uh, you're right. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't my, wasn't my A game today. So uh, I had trouble getting in there. Uh, I hyperextended my arm. I got a little trouble with my hands, but yeah, I, I worked through it. What was the trouble with your hand? Uh, I hurt my knuckle in the second round. I hyperextended uh, my right hand in the third round. But hey, I I I, I got I had a good fight with a tough opponent who came to fight. He came to fight. He did. Now, in fact, you had a round. It looked like you had it in the bag, and you got knocked down with the last five seconds of the round with a jab. Did yeah, it yeah. surprise you? He he caught me with the with the I guess it was a jab, but my footing was off, and then it was a knockdown. All right, but you are back, and you got a win tonight. And I know that was very important for you. So thanks a lot, and congratulations. Thank you. All right. That's from Josecito, and we'll see if we can get uh, Mighty Mike with us as well. Mike? Mike, that was a tough fight. It was a very close fight, and uh, you ended up on the losing end of a technical decision. How do you feel about it? Uh, I don't know what I say now. You know, I'm happy to be here, to fight with uh, Lopez. Everybody sees, uh, okay, he's world champion, he's good boxer, but uh, he's not, I don't have, no, this guy don't have nothing different uh, for me, you know. Uh, I, I have the cut in my eye. Right. I don't see the last round nothing. All the time I try to clean my eye. Tell us about the headbutt and the way that it came about. Uh, I have one big headbutt in the, in the left eye. Maybe, look, here. You landed a beautiful left right before that. Yeah, I, I try, you know what, look. I catch, now look, now here is the headbutt. I, I, I catch the, a lot of times the guy, you know, but, and me, I'm outside from the boxing now, uh, eight months, nine months, that my last fight is before uh, nine months, and uh, for me, it's one good uh, step, one good warm up. I want to fight him again with Lopez. Okay, He's well, ball, you know, uh, and 100%, I, I come by, back uh, stronger and better, you know, the guy, I think I, I, I have the guy. You know? Well, it was a it was a tough close fight. We I think we'd all like to see it again. Thank you very much, and congratulations on a good fight here tonight. Thank